welcome to the Python series about big data technologies uh, where we can help you choose the right technology for your projects. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, Couchbase and MongoDB today and see how they're different and how they're similar. Uh, both Couchbase and MongoDB are actually the document stores. So they are uh, storing uh, documents uh, or key value key document uh, based uh, um, uh, um, structures. And uh, MongoDB was initially initially designed with sort of a developer in, in mind. They are much more developer friendly, very, very easy to get uh, going, but a little bit more involved, a little bit more complicated when you need to start deploying MongoDB at scale, when you start thinking about, you know, uh, web scale uh, uh, workloads, when you start to talking about multi data center deployments and replication and etc. So it's a little bit uh, harder to work with, uh, uh, at least today. Couchbase is actually initially started as a simpler key value store, and then value actually been sort of converted or immersed as a document. So Couchbase added, solution, uh, added tools to work with the document as structured uh, uh, document rather than a value then developers need to work with, uh, with their own tools. Um, but Couchbase is a little more operationally friendly, I'd say. Uh, as I mentioned, when, it talk, when we're talking about multi-data center deployment and replication, Couchbase solution seems to be a little bit more proven and uh, uh, more stable and easier to work with than uh, MongoDB replication today. Um, also, their scalability and uh, specifically their lack of uh, write lock on a whole database, which MongoDB does, also improves the scalability and simplifies the deployment, uh, where in MongoDB to scale to the high levels, currently you need to very carefully design your deploy deployment, shard it, and uh, uh, set up the right replica sets to be scalable. Um, there's a, obviously a little more, a few more differences, but maybe those are the most sort of uh, obvious ones. Other than that, they're actually very similar in terms of what segment they are serving. So you generally would see companies using one of them rather than, you know, using both as complementing each other, unless you're having an application which been designed for one for Couchbase and another for MongoDB, for example, then you would pick up both potentially. But generally, if you choose your platform, you choose one of them. Mm -hmm.